Hey, this is Kelly with Kelly's Magical Realm. I'm telling some ghostly tales today. And then at the end, I'm going to read my poetry that was featured in Poetry for Mental Health's website. So first, I wanted to tell a few ghost tales. One I thought was really neat is it was a girl named Alice. And I, you know, now that I think about it, I'm not sure if she was in North Carolina or South Carolina. But to make a long story short, she was engaged before she died. And her parents called off the wedding and took her away from the man she loved and she ended up she did stopped eating and she died actually of a broken heart and legend has it I think her name was Alice but legend has it that if you put a ring on her tombstone she takes it because she always wanted to get married rings just disappear whenever you put it on her tombstone look it up I think it's like Alice in the Ring, um, something like that. I I can't remember exactly because that was years ago. But the second one actually happened to me. Um, When I moved down to North Carolina, I was there for a few years. It's home of Blackbeard the Pirate. That's the one thing that always stood out to me. And I didn't know it till I got there. Uh, He was actually, I think it was Beaufort. Yeah, Beaufort, North Carolina which was near where I had lived. And people that I didn't know would just come up to me. His name kept coming up. I remember a man just saying, you really need to check out Beaufort, North Carolina. It's home of Blackbeard the Pirate. And clothes that I wore, I happened to look and the, and the tag said Blackbeard. And his name just kept coming up all the time. I even took my daughter on a little boat cruise because we love the water. And they happened to bring us by Blackbeard's house. So we left and I started to be, to feel like, I can't explain it. Like I felt some kind of draw towards knowing more about Blackbeard. It was very bizarre. So we went by the house. It was hidden because they didn't want many people to know where it is. So we found the house and we drove by. And even by the cemetery where they say that they, believe that he was buried in and a small child was buried in a a pirate's child I'm not exactly sure if it was his or not so I just became very drawn to that I think the cemetery felt like it always felt like someone was watching you in there it was very bizarre because I'm always in cemeteries everywhere I've ever lived Um, I love going in cemeteries and I've never felt anyone watching me except the one when I went to Beaufort, North Carolina, that was a little creepy. That cemetery just felt like there was always someone there with you. I can't explain it. It's a creepy feeling. And I remember when I looked up stuff on Blackbird, the only thing I really remember is that he helped people. He secretly helped people. They found penicillin, I believe, on his ship and supplies where he was actually helping his crew that He pretended to be scary just so people wouldn't bother him. So I thought that was such an interesting story about him. that He was really a nice guy underneath it all. Okay, now I'm going to read my two featured poems. The first one, it's called Hijacked at Sea. Does hope really float or... Did it get hijacked and lost at sea? Swallowed in the abyss with the lonely sailors wandering around and trying to find the shore, hanging on a shivering door, then just floating in the ocean, loss of emotions, hijacked at sea. What is next for me? The next one's called The Ghost by the Tree. Down by the tree, there stands a ghost. He helped me bury what hurt me the most. Everything that I couldn't say deep in the earth is where I buried it away. Hiding in the dirt, there it 
is where I'm hiding my hurt. Whenever I am in need, the ghost appears. He says he is a knight from Avalon. He was a knight and a soldier that lived many times before he crossed over. Now he was now he is teaching me to forget the past, to break free from my chains and to be free at last.